Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you have been enjoying this series uh, on the cognitive computing. In the last session, we understood what can make a system cognitive and I explained you the features, the basic attributes that are required for a system to become cognitive. I also gave you instances where cognitive computing can really be helpful in building applications better and I explained you the aspects as well. In this session, we are going to gain knowledge on how do we gain insights from data, why gaining insights from data is important and how is it connected to cognitive computing. We will discuss these points in this session. It's going to be interesting and easy. In case you have any questions, you can always ask me through the chat section and I will be really happy to answer. Why do we need insights from the data? This is the first question that we all need to answer. Why we need insights from data? Is it very important? Yes, it's paramount. The first point that I would like to highlight here is when you want to take informed decisions, we need to have insights from data. The insights derived from the data provide remarkable information that can guide, in, guide you in getting right decision at right time. It can be business, it can be healthcare, it can be government or any domain, any sector. The data driven insights really are very helpful for the leaders to take decisions in a much informed manner. It is more on evidence based decisions. It is more of minimizing risks approach and most importantly, the chances of you succeeding when you go ahead with insights and data and when you generate decision through that, it's going to be helpful. The second very important point or reason why do we need to have the data insights carefully looked into is to identify the pattern and trends. The data insights really allow you to identify the pattern, the trend and the correlation in the large data set that might not be apparent through simple observation. I am going through the data quickly. I may not be able to understand what is the trend, what is the correlation, what is the connect between the data. All these I may not be able to get it clearly but when I go and gain deeper insights, I will be able to understand this clearly. Also, these patterns can be helpful in gaining deeper understanding about the customer behavior, the market trends, the underlying processes and more connected to this aspect. So, first thing is you need to gain informed decision making. Second, the insights from the data help you in identifying the patterns and the trends. The third very important point is predictive analytics. You have a lot of data. You have a lot of historical data. The insights from those historical data can help you in building predictive models and it can help you in forecasting the future. It can help you in predicting the outcomes or the trends. The most important part is this kind of predictive analytics is going to be very useful in the business planning, the resource allocation, risk assessment and more connected to it. So your business can really be safe there. You predict what's going to happen and you can act accordingly, right? So we have seen three things, informed decision making, identifying patterns and trends and finally predictive analytics. Well, we have some more points that are to be included here. Optimization and efficiency. This is a very important topic. The data insight analysis can help you in understanding where are the inefficiencies already available. It can be in the process, it can be in the operations, it can be in the system side. So by identifying these inefficiencies, you or the organization can make improvements and that can lead to cost savings and that can get you better resource utilization and most importantly, it can optimize your entire business. This is a very important aspect. You are identifying the gaps through the data insights. Then comes the personalization. The data insights will help you in personalizing their product, services or even marketing. There are three classes of customers who are one-time visitors, regular visitors, loyal, high-end visitors. In the sense, they are purchasing more from you. They are giving you more business. These kind of classifications can be clearly understood and we can even personalize the service that we are going to give them. You can lead to more customer satisfaction. You can lead to more engagement with the customer and the customers who are potential customers will become more loyal customers. The loyal customers will become high business giving customers. So you are enriching the entire path here through proper personalization. And then the most important aspect comes here is the competitive advantage. The organizations that really use the data, that really understands the data, gains insights from the data, gain definitely better edge over other similar companies. The data driven decision making capacity helps the business to be a step ahead of their competitors and they are also ready for the changing market needs 
and they are ready for the market dynamics. So these are all the important aspects that you need to understand before you gain insights. Why do we need gain insights? Is there a point? Yes. It helps you in informed decision making. It helps you in identifying the patterns and the trends. It helps you with the predictive analytics with which you can protect a lot of things be before it goes to the next level, which is damaging state. And you gain the optimization efficiency. And most importantly, personalized service can be provided to the customers. And it gives you edge over other similar manufacturers or other similar service providers. All these are the advantages that you gain through insights. Well, do we end it there? No. We have more facts and more aspects of why do we need insights? Why do we need to gain insights is going to be discussed. Scientific discoveries. When you go to any scientific research, the data insights are the real crucial thing. That will help you in identifying something new. That will help you in exploring the relationship, the connections, and most importantly, these kind of insights can give you a lot of breakthroughs. It can be in the medicine, it can be the physics, chemistry, biology, any field. You need to have the insights for you to get the big breakthrough. Without you understanding what's there currently available, you cannot innovate. So these insights will help you even in the scientific discoveries, fraud detection and security. When you talk about data insights, which is connected to security, there is a lot of option which can really help you in gaining better security solutions. You can detect the anomalies. You can detect the patterns which are associated with the fraudulent activities. The security breaches can be understood by analyzing, by getting the clear insights of the historical data. This will enable you to be real proactive and you can prevent or you can even mitigate those kind of potential risks. So even in the security sector, gaining insights is most important. Continuous improvement is the next aspect of it. The data-driven insights really promote the aspect of continuous improvement. When you go ahead with the data-driven insight, the organization can really use this data to track what are their KPAs. KPA means key performance indicators. They can set the benchmarks. They can lead to ongoing enhancements or they can get it better. This can happen over time. So this insights help you in gaining continuous and consistent improvement. That's very important thing. And customer experience is something all of us are looking at. You, me, anybody, we are all creating products for the customer to come and use it. So you understanding the customer behavior, you understanding the customer preferences through these insights definitely helps you to enhance the business. It helps you, it gets you better products and services. And importantly, if you see, the overall customer experience will be in the next level. So you gain a lot of advantages when you go ahead with gaining insights. Now, I hope you understand. Why do we need to gain insights, right? So we need insights. Generating insights from the data really empowers the organizations and individuals to make better informed decisions. It helps them in driving the innovation. It improves the efficiency by a huge volume and it can help you in gaining the competitive advantage in today's data-driven world. So in this session, in this discussion, I told you very clearly the factors that definitely lets you go ahead and gain insights from the data. Why insights is answered through this discussion. I hope you understood it clearly. Well, let's gain insights from data. How are we going to do that? I'm going to build a cognitive system. How do I go ahead and gain insights? See the point here, what's paramount? The cognitive system has to be relevant and useful. For that to be so, it must continuously learn and adapt as new information is ingested and interpreted. We need variety of tools. There are many tools already available in the market. You need variety of tools. And this could be very important irrespective of what kind of data, what type of data you are going to gain insights from. But we need tools. We would not deny the fact that most of the data that we are handling are text-based. NLP techniques are very useful here and they have a role here. They must understand, they must extract the meaning from the unstructured text. It could be in the form of documents or in the communications that are made by the user. And NLP is a real cool superstar tool to understand text. And deep learning tools on the other hand will be very useful to capture the meaning, extract the meaning from the content, which could be video, audio clippings, or sensor data. All these data, irrespective of the type, I repeat, all these data, irrespective of the type, are to be transformed and only then they can be understood and processed. And we have tools for it, we have methods for it, NLP for text, deep learning techniques for other kind of data, and we have to use them. This is the way we can gain insights. And what's the most important thing in the cognitive stuff? I have been repeating it. User understanding the relationship between variety of data sources is very important. So who helps you here? 
I have a lot of data in front of me, but it is all numbers. Nobody can understand. Visualization techniques and tools come in into rescue here and the complex data becomes more accessible, much more easier to be understood using these visualization tools. We are evolving. Cognitive computing is evolving. It still has a lot of room to grow. We have multiple things that are coming in. We have data which could be structured, semi-structured, unstructured, and we expect the cognitive systems to learn continuously and to gain insights from that. So for all these to be done, we need tools, we need visualization, we need NLP, we need deep learning techniques, and all these are to be combined to get proper insights. The data sources are to be combined with the processes for gaining appropriate results, and that's going to be the key. All these points are important for us to understand as in how do we gain insights from the data? That's what I have conveyed through this short session. I hope it was useful. In case you have questions, please type it in the chat section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.